Vasudhara is a goddess. She's a goddess of wealth. She is uh, typically one-faced, two-armed in, uh, in the early texts, but uh, the most popular form of Vasudhara that we see in painting and sculpture is one-faced and six-armed. And the vast majority of all of the art, painting and sculpture, that you find in the Himalayas and you find in, in the Tibetan regions is actually Nepalese. It, it's, uh, it's made in, in uh, Nepal, made in the Kathmandu Valley. And it was uh, primarily intended for, for uh, a Kathmandu, uh, a Nepali audience, a Newar and Shakya audience. So the, the special uh, uh, sort of characteristics of, of Vasudhara are that she is a goddess of uh, abundance and harvest. We, we say generally that she's a wealth goddess, but, but more specifically it's uh, for harvest uh, and for uh, uh, family well-being, uh, village well-being. It very much fits into an agrarian kind of society, which uh, the Kathmandu Valley uh, was in the past. So Vasudhara has a number of different forms. Uh, one face, two armed, uh, uh, and in different colors. We also have a red, uh, one face, two armed, uh, and in this form, she the red represents power. So it's a more intense kind of uh, uh, wealth deity. Uh, colors have meaning. White is peaceful, yellow is increase, red is powerful, blue, dark blue, blue-black is uh, wrathful. And so if you have a wealth deity, that's normally yellow in color because of increase, increase in wealth, increase in harvest. But if you have a wealth deity but they're red in color, then it means there's an added component, there's an added uh, 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 element of intensity, and that intensity here is power. So it's... Um, it's you want uh, to accumulate wealth uh, quickly or 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 very uh, more aggressively. So there's a number of mandalas of Asudara as well, and again these mandalas uh, that we find are primarily uh, Nepali paintings. They're not uh, Tibetan. Uh, we we do have some uh, Tibetan paintings where they show up in sets, uh, but uh, uh, those are generally smaller and uh, not the, the large format that we find with the Nepalese paintings. Also, the Tibetan ones are done as a set. They're, they're just part of a set of a hundred or more uh, mandalas. So they're not made individually as if this uh, uh, practice is uh, terribly popular. It is somewhat popular because Vasudhara is also connected with uh, the male deity, wealth deity, Jambala. So you have Jambala and Vasudhara. And we have this coming out of um, some early, early texts, but also the Siddhai Kavira, uh, White Manjushri Tantra. We have uh, a number of, uh, of mentions and applications of Vasudhara and Jambala from that text. And, and then we have others, and we, and we, we, we find that Vasudhara is, is spread throughout a number of different um, tantras in terms of the, the literary sources for the practice. Um, so the majority of works, again, are Nepalese. They're not Tibetan. Although Vasudhara is practiced in Tibet, it is uh, a very, very important uh, female deity of the Kathmandu Valley.